Welcome back. This is Defender Chassis. My name's Scott, and this is shop update day 462. I am severely delinquent in keeping up with this. And in fact, I think I've made a decision that uh, this will be the last shop update. And I'm going to transition what I do uh, with this YouTube channel. And I think what we'll do is uh, weekly updates. And it won't just be on what we're doing with respect to developing the shop, but it'll also be on things that are happening in the shop. So uh, if you're familiar with A-Bomb 79, I think I'm going to go to a format uh, like what he does. And uh, big projects, things that I want to bring to you specifically just for that project, uh, we'll do separate videos, uh, you know, such as the, the um, uh, louver punch frame that, uh, that I'm putting together. Uh, we'll leave that as a separate project, but uh, once a week we'll, uh, we'll get together and, and I'll show you what uh, is going on with the shop and, and with other things. Anyway, let's get this thing moving. Um, in the last 200 days since the last uh, uh, video, uh, we transitioned to where we're, we're now doing work in here. Now, this isn't exclusively a full-time job for me. We have ran uh, several projects through here, a lot of which, which I didn't get caught on, uh, on on YouTube. Nonetheless, we haven't been trying to, to get the shop completed during that whole uh, time frame. So it's just a matter of when we've, we've been able to find time. So I'm gonna do this like a, like a, like a, um, uh, a shop tour kind of thing. And I'll just go around and show you what uh, what got done since the since the last time. Now let me get you moved around here, and uh, let's go back over here uh, towards the front. Um, <clears throat> this side of the shop, if you've watched all the updates, you know that uh, the way the layout for this was such that uh, I was going to store uh, the uh, truck and trailer in uh, this far bay, and um, uh, that's not been completed. We still have metal to be put up top, but I do have uh, OSB, the first four foot of OSB. Now there is about a six inch strip that goes above what you see, and then there'll be two more strips to use as a, as a nailer uh, for, um, um, for the metal that'll go above that. I'm not sure when all that'll get done. I do have things arranged enough though that we did get the trailer inside, uh, inside the building, which uh, makes it convenient because there's a lot of stuff in the race rig that, um, that uh, I need access to. And um, we put a, an outlet, a 30 amp trailer plug outlet on the uh, opposite wall. So uh, this trailer is plugged in. And um, you can see, I can open the door and we can use the outside lights back in this bay. Of course, we've got uh, the regular lights, but um, Anyway, you can see all this OSB has been put on, and that's six inch strip, and you can see the, the nailers above. I just used the OSB that I had on hand and got, went ahead and got it out of the way and got it, uh, got it nailed up. But at some point, I do have a couple more pieces of metal that I, I need to get wrapped around this corner just so it's not out here sitting in the floor. But at some point, we'll, get, um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what we need to finish this up, get the metal ordered, and get it, uh, get it, uh, get it in. Uh, on around. And you know, because we are still in, you know, in a in a, a phase of, you know, completing the shop, um, things like this table saw are still over here. But they'll move across the lot into the other building uh, once um, uh, construction activities are complete. In fact, right now, all I'm really working on uh, is the office. But uh, we've got cabinets up. We've got some um, uh, pegboard up. Things are generally in the area that uh, that they're going to be in. Uh, this um, plate storage uh, rack is temporary, and in fact, I think we're going to put it on the other side of this wall. Not that rack, but the plate storage will go on the other side of this wall. And I've got a toolbox to go there to store some, um, uh, some of the dies and stuff uh, for the uh, bender and other uh, fabricating stuff. Um, shoot, on around. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those walls. These cabinets I had bought and had in uh, just in storage. There's 11 of them. So we got all those hung. So that gets them out of the way. Um, this table <clears throat> that uh, the tubing notcher is on, that table is going to go away and the tubing notcher is going to get a fabricated cart specifically for it so that it can be put out of the way when, when not in use. So that'll open this area up. 
And this is the toolbox that uh, is going to store bending dies and other fabrication equipment uh, over where the uh, plate storage is at. That's the drawers and stuff out of it. That needs to be sanded and painted and completed. Uh, on around, if you didn't keep up, uh, there's a uh, video on uh, this lift. I still have the, uh, the, the final video. Um, things didn't go as well as I had hoped with, uh, with that piece of equipment. And so I'm contemplating how to, uh, how to complete that, uh, that, that, that video, but that's, that is uh, to be coming as well. Um, we put that lift in at a 45 degree angle with the thought that um, something could be on the lift. If it was in front of the door, then something could be on it and then you couldn't get something on in the rest of the shop. This way things can transition in and out I've got an area back here to, um, uh, to leave longer term projects as well. Something may be on the lift for days at a time as well. So uh, this layout lets it, uh, lets it be there if it needs to be. Um, let's go on around. And um, if you remember the old shop, this is the, uh, the cabinets and stuff that um, uh, I had in the one corner and the, the, the uh, uh, shelves in between. I simply transitioned it, it here for more of a, a clean area. Uh, there will be an office upstairs, so it doesn't need to be used like an office, but um, the intent is for this to be a cleaner area. Obviously needs some more uh, organization. Um, let's look at uh, the storage room under the office. Um, I did get shelves. I'm in the process of bringing stuff in from the other building where we just kind of crammed everything from the move. Um, I do have uh, quite a bit of, of space in here. There's a lot more um, uh, shelves that uh, where stuff can be placed. Um, I don't want to get it too crammed up without, um, you know, and have to come in and redo it all. So um, it's uh, happening uh, slowly. Um, this was an area for a washer and dryer. Uh, I don't have a drain line hooked up yet, but the, pro the, the main thing that's going on right now with the development of the shop is that the office is upstairs is going to get complete. I really needed it about three weeks ago, or three months ago. I did a little side work at a plant up the river planning a uh, steam outage. And I, I, I did a lot of that work from, uh, from home and would have preferred to do it in, in this office here in this location. But anyway, that's the sink from the old shop. I ended up uh, trading the, uh, the new buyer out of it. Uh, forget what it was he wanted. I had something that he saw when I moved and, and uh, um, he wanted it and I said, well, I'll tell you what, you can have it and I'll keep the, I'll just take the sink with me. Cause that, that was supposed to stay in the old shop because it was a, uh, a fixture. So, but it's not hooked up yet. I need to get the, that's the drain line right there. And uh, I need to get it connected to the sewer. The problem with that is as soon as I connect, my water bill basically doubles. So I'm waiting till the last minute to connect that. But there'll be the bathroom upstairs is right above where, where we're standing. And so I need to get those drain lines put in and connected along with that sink. And then I'll uh, go ahead and run a piece of equipment to dig that ditch outside. <clears throat> Just this week, uh, this came. This is a uh, split unit for heating and air in the, uh, in the office. It's 9,000 BTU. The office is 12 by 16. Um, th this is way more unit than I need, but it's the smallest thing I could buy. And I didn't know another way to um, cheaply or cost effectively put heat and air up there. Um, this works like a heat pump as far as the heat. It should be more than enough to take care of that office. And as far as the heat, you know, a lot of times in this area where we're at in West Virginia, a heat pump won't keep up. But what you got to remember is that the building is super well insulated and the shop is going to be maintained at about 55 degrees in the winter. So this thing won't be fighting outside temperatures to stay, keep the office at, you know, say a comfortable 70 degrees. It'll just be basically that temperature difference between um, uh, the shop and the, and, and, the, and the office. So it should, should work just fine. But let's go, let's go on up to the office. Oh, uh, I think in the last video, um, none of this siding, none of this metal was put on and the windows had not been installed. So those windows uh, got installed. I don't know if I mentioned before or not. Uh, I got those windows at a, um, we've got a local window company uh, called uh, Simonton Windows. 
and they make uh, vinyl vinyl windows, all kinds. They make uh, double hungs and casement windows and sliders and, and everything. And um, they ship windows all uh, all over the country. And they have an outlet in a about town about 30 minutes from here. And things that not not seconds, but like if a window was made to the wrong size or if it was ordered to the wrong size and came back, then they send those windows to the outlet. And you can go and buy buy windows very reasonably and those two picture windows um, which is what I wanted up there I wanted picture windows I didn't want to be able to uh, to open them um, those are actually hurricane windows those were uh, intended for uh, Florida somewhere in Florida and supposedly those will take a two before at 90 mile an hour so I've got $75 a piece in those windows so for 150 bucks I got got uh, got those windows This will be the office. The desk will go over here in front of one of these windows. Um, the split unit will either go on this wall or on that wall. Um, I like it better on that wall, but that means that the, the tubes will have to run through this wall out and then up and down the outside wall of the building. So uh, I'm not quite sure yet. But in the, here in the last uh, few weeks, I got the, the uh, bathroom framed up. And um, the layout will be, there'll be a toilet here. And then this is obviously a, uh, a shower. And then there will be a, a sink that will hang from this wall. Just a, um, a wall hung, no pedestal, no cabinet underneath of it, just a, just a sink. We're going to tile up three feet all the way around and then also up each side of the shower and the ceiling above the shower now when we built this office we put in a uh, fan and that fan is connected and, and is actually ducted into the, the the shop area so hopefully any smells or moisture will um, will dissipate by the time it gets uh, gets out there if not we'll have to maybe re uh, reroute that uh, that duct work Anyway, the plan is out here that I'm going to put a bank of cabinets. Now, you saw down in the um, storage room that there's a little min miniature fridge. Um, <clears throat> that fridge will sit here on the right. There'll be a bank of drawers on the left. There'll be a countertop. There's an outlet there for microwave, coffee maker, whatever, and then we'll have some cabinets above that. And the rest of this area will be wide open for whatever. That's where we're at. Um, like I said... Go ahead and subscribe, and um, if everything goes right, we'll have a weekly show, and as uh, things progress up here in the office and things get completed out there in the rest of the shop, I'll, uh, I'll update it uh, during that uh, weekly, uh, weekly video. So, hey, listen, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the uh, next video. Thanks.